Ruby, I am so excited to hear your speech, fellow Toastmasters, our guest, Division, Madam Division Director, Madam Area Director, Mr. Area Director. <laughs> <laughs> this is, as Heather said, Mindy's 10th speech. She will be doing project number five, which is Your Body Speaks. So one thing she's asked us to focus on is her hand movements and how she uses them and to make sure that she's not just
Buffalo! <laughs> There's literally a buffalo right around one of the curves that we almost hit in the middle of the road. And my husband has a lifted truck, so it's tall. It was the size of his truck. It was terrifying. He was driving at the time, thank God. Then about midnight, I started driving. And once again, curve, curve, wall of white smoke. I screamed. I probably woke up the kids in the background. It was a geyser that was really <laughs> I couldn't, it was literally a white wall in front of me. So now, then I knew what to expect. But, so you've got some pros and cons of arriving at Yellowstone in the middle of the night. It's free to get in, but yet you could hit a bubble. <laughs> So here are some highlights from Yellowstone. We did the typical tourist stuff, went and saw the geysers, went and saw the location of where the super volcano will explode. How cool is that? So typical family things. Or and then right outside of our campsite, there was a river that we could walk through and we could play in. The kids had so much fun splashing around in there. My oldest daughter didn't want to go see the geysers and complained the whole time because she wanted to go back into the river. That's where she wanted to spend the whole vacation. After Yellowstone, we drove down through the Grand Tetons and stayed at a campsite of the Grand Tetons. And then we went to there's more of Yellowstone. There's a giant buffalo. He's laying down. He's not <laughs> tall like the truck in that picture. And th that is a picture of the Grand Tetons. Yes, that is snow. It was absolutely breathtaking. So after the Grand Tetons, we went to Salt Lake City. I found a really cool state park called Antelope Island State Park. I highly recommend going there. You can't see it, but there's only one way in and out of the island. And at, we arrived probably seven o'clock at night, so we had some time. But if you arrive after 10 p.m., you cannot enter that island at all. So we got lucky that we didn't arrive at 10.30 at night because we could the Yellowstone. But Antelope Island, as you can see, you're surrounded by water. My favorite part of this adventure was sitting, after the kids went to bed, sitting at, next to my tent, felt like the ocean in front of me. With the breeze, silence. Y'all the kids know what that is, how much <laughs> silence is, but silence, it was absolutely incredible. So after four nights of camping, <laughs> after four nights of camping, we went to Las Vegas, stayed at the Mandalay Bay, got to shower, got to sleep on a bed, <laughs> it was absolutely worth every penny that we had. So this was our six states in 10 days. So you, I should, in, I hope that this has inspired you to get outside of the state of Arizona and see national parks. Go on an adventure, make some memories. Thank you.